Welcome to Wine Wine Time. Time. I'm Rachel. And I'm Heather. Where two moms will pour a drink, espresso, wine, cocktail, who knows, and tell you stories or complain about moms. You will get the good, inspirational, uplifting, encouraging, the badass, we all know a badass mom, and the crime. Moms who have committed them and or survived them. This is Wine Wine Time. Time. The good, the badass, and and the the crime. crime. ready for this shit <laughs> well, I have to tell you a little bit ago while you were getting ready and like getting ready to press record I could not pay attention because Kenzie was just in the background doing cartwheels back and forth oh. <laughs> that's funny I wasn't even looking because I'm like painting I know, my that's screen. I, I was trying I didn't want to say anything because I thought it was so funny I wanted to see how long it would go <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised she doesn't just stand right here as I am recording the entire time. She would, and she has for some of it <laughs> in the past. Um, that is pretty funny, that little crazy child of mine. Yep, I am recording. I am home. I am off. Um, yesterday I clocked out, and I have five days off. Five yeah. days off. That's like awesome. I don't even know what this life is. And I found out that three of them are paid, and I'm like. <gasps> You're like, see? Yeah. yeah. It was so funny. I was like, what do you mean I'm paid? That's the nice thing about working for like a school <laughs> system so like funny. that. It was awesome. Right. I was like, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, But today we're going to do a little more holiday talk for you guys because I wanted to put something together so I I did that Heather doesn't know about it but she about to find out I know Um, it's a complete surprise so I'm super excited surprise surprise before that though um what's up with you you got anything for our humans for our you know we we are just taking it day by day day by day uh I I'm like figuring it out as we go we're getting ready to do some traveling so just you know this is it's crazy this time of year is like the best time of year slash like super stressful time of year right because you're just trying to get everything together get things planned get things packed go to these 50 events that happen to be going on for the holidays and still you know trying to enjoy your time so right you know what? Shout it out to all the to all the parents out there making this holiday season work. <laughs> yeah. Kicking ass. It is. It's true. It's it's so funny because you're supposed to I feel like it's one of those times where like you're supposed to be in the best mood and the most cheery mood and the happiest mood and then it's like most of us are little grinches walking around because you're just oh, like I'm what a do you mean? Drum. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't <laughs> smile. How do you expect me to <laughs> smile if I have this to do list? I know I know it's so tough but like that's what I keep trying to remind myself that one of especially with Thanksgiving coming up you know like you have to remind yourself of like the things you're supposed to be grateful for right like that's supposed to be a way to to get your mind out of a funk is to start your day with gratefulness and just what what is going right instead of what is going wrong so I've been I've been struggling to do that but you know what I'm trying. So that's a step in the right direction. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. You just keep trying. Wake up. Try again. If it sucks, wake up. Try again until one of the days you wake up and it's like, whoa, actually things went kind of okay. Hey, what are this? <laughs> what are this? I think you'll get there. You'll get there. We'll get there. Um, uh, I don't. I already I gave my say. update. I'm off for five days. Say. So yeah, that's my I was update. Gonna say, that's like <laughs> the coolest else? thing ever. When's the last time you had five days like that? Like that's insane. Unless I took it, unless I requested right. it, you know. Um, right. And then also never for Thanksgiving, yeah. like never around the holidays was I ever fortunate enough to get time off. So this is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And of course, you know, I'm a talker. I'm very vocal. People know more than they need to know about me because I'm just, like, sharing everything all the time. So as I was clocking out, everyone's like, oh, like, enjoy your five days. Yeah. Like, everyone's more excited for me. Hyping you than- up. Yeah. <laughs> it's so That's funny. so just, good, like, though. It was funny. I walked into my office, and there was, like, this other person in there, and my front office lady, 
she's the cutest. She is telling him like, yeah, Rachel hasn't been able to have this kind of time off in like so long. So yeah. she's going to enjoy every second. I'm just like, yay. You know, that yeah, support so. is, that was awesome. is amazing, right? Because yeah. like, I mean, we, I mean, you've been at jobs where you haven't gotten that time off before. And like, I remember when I, when like at a previous job, if I was fortunate enough to request that time off and got that time off, it wasn't celebrated. It was like, well, I guess you should enjoy your time off because yeah, yeah blah, blah, blah. like, you know, like attitude right. about the fact that you're getting that time off. Like I went on like one of my old jobs, I went on maternity leave and they're like, well, I guess you met her. But you know what? Like, <laughs> you know, so it's so nice that you have that type of attitude where people are like excited for you oh, yeah. to take that. That's awesome. That's such a good, positive, supportive work environment it makes all the difference. Yay. That makes it me does. happy for you. Yeah, girl. We're all, we're all happy around here. This house is yeah. happy. And, you know, it was funny because that's the same time that she had told me, you know, because I was happy without knowing I was about to get paid for it. Right. So I was like a happy, like, broke person, right? And then she says, <laughs> oh, no, it's paid. And then I'm like a happy, paid person. So I'm like, yeah. it, just, it just, like, elevated a little bit. <laughs> I was like, I was totally fine being a broke-ass happy person for a yeah. little bit. Was, <laughs> like, oh, it's yay. It. That's awesome. Oh, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but with that said, ooh, it, what is in your hands, my friends? So what is that? I took your uh, your uh, uh, recommendation. I can't mm-hmm. think of the word. I got that sugar cookie thingy, whatever, whatever drink. Yeah, the from sugar uh, the good one. old Starbies this morning. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. It's very good. I had to ask for less pumps of like the sugar cookie right. whatever though cuz like when I, I had I was like I had it once a, uh, last week and I was like, "Oh, that's sweet." So I got like that's less pumps of it and it's like perfect. Yeah. I love it a lot. Yay. That's good. Um yeah, you picked up the cup. I was like, "Oh, Starbucks. I want it." Ah. Um <laughs> let me lift up my cup. And I was going to say, tell the what are you, are, are you, is that a mimosa there? What is that? No, no, I'm, I am like anti-champagne, but it's orange juice, which yeah. I don't. So my mimosas were typically 95% champagne with a splash right. of OJ. Cause I don't exactly. even like orange juice, but I am determined. Like I am so determined to not get sick. I feel like I've said that the last like yes. two, three episodes where I'm just like, I'm not going to let it happen. So I am drinking the orange juice. Good I am call. taking the emergency. I Good am doing call. whatever I need to do. Immune boosting myself because yes. I refuse. Like, yes, there ain't no That's way. That's such a good attitude to have. Be like proactive about it, especially this time of year. And especially like with your new position, like, you know, right. so for sure. That's awesome. That's I need to start doing that too. <laughs> I think we all do. So this is just a P- PSA for PSA. every single one of you guys listening right now. Bump up your immune uh, <laughs> things that you're taking. Just start. Be- especially you're going to be around all these people. Yeah. You're going to see a bunch of people maybe you haven't seen in a while. Having your groups, whatever it may be. Um, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. For it's, sure. What, what's the harm in it, right? Um, I was going to say... Oh, it, what I was going to say is I have just been like, you are not getting sick 100%. <laughs> I haven't seen Joel for months. Yeah, so I'm just yeah. like, I get to see him. Tomorrow I get to see him. So I have just been like, you are not going to be sick. Yeah. You are going to be the best you you've ever been in your life. <laughs> he needs that. You need that. Yeah. So that's what's happening over here. Um, Good. Which is exciting. But... Right now, Heather and I are going to share kind of like our holiday um, upcoming stuff with you guys just because we like to talk about it. And, you know, you guys get to enjoy this ride and be our best friends, too. So um, you guys need to know what we're doing as well. So, Heather, you want to share? What are are you doing for Christmas? So, what are you doing? um, We do a thing every year ever since like our first year dating um we switch on 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 thanksgiving and christmas so like okay you know this this year is your family's thanksgiving it'll be my family's christmas and the next year we switch so this year is uh my family christmas Mm -hmm. so 
we, I actually, we just confirmed that we are going to do it at my house, which means I get to go get a real treat because yeah. I told Zach, I was like, look, if we're hosting, we got to do it up. We got to get the real treat. You know, it's Tempe's first Christmas. Like, let's do it. So I'm really excited. We'll probably go get the tree, um, you know, this week sometime. And then it'll be really fun to decorate that. So, yeah, so we'll, everyone's coming here, which will be really nice. That way I don't have to drive. Um, and, you know, I, I can probably get other people to cook stuff and bring it here or cook stuff when they get here. So I also don't. So really the only thing I'm like, okay, I got to make sure I do is decorate. And I'm actually really excited to decorate this year because Evie has been super into like doing all of that with us. Like when we were decorating for Halloween and stuff, she was all right. about it. So I think that will be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm excited. I don't have to travel anywhere. It will just be folks good. coming to my house and um, it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. I'm excited. I'm, but I will need to hit up Ashley because mm. she said she knows all the good, um, cause we do like to look at lights. So oh, she yeah. knows where all the good lights are, um, just across the hill and see me. So I'm going to have to hit her up and find out. So Ashley, if you're listening, go ahead and just text me if you're listening. <laughs> and give me those, give me those lights. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> I was like, if you're listening, that's hilarious. I know. And she's definitely <laughs> when you're when no you're listening, when. yeah, <laughs> shout it out. Exactly. Just what create a you? post so that we can share it with all the other Cali listeners oh, too. Oh yeah, so that we, we can should all do go. that. Um, because that's important. But Bef- before we go on on to me, how many like how many people do you guys plan on having over there? No, so, it's looking like it's gonna be us, my parents, my grandma, my brother, and his girlfriend Mm -hmm. he has yet to bring a girlfriend to christmas so that will be interesting yeah and then um possibly um i mean and there could possibly be like two to four other people so um we will see we will see but more the merrier especially if i don't have to drive to it like come on down like whatever you guys want the house is open (laughs) that's awesome i love that Love it. Um, are you, do you do the typical like wake up Christmas morning? Do you do the Christmas Eve type stuff? What do you, so what's it's your... so funny because, um, we have a couple different things that happen. Uh, so if we go to my one aunt's house, we generally open things on Christmas Eve. She lives out in Ventura and they haven't done it the last couple of years. But what we used to do is open presents. And then in Ventura, they have like a helicopter Santa that does like a flyover. It's awesome. So we used to do that all the time, but they kind of stopped doing that. And so I don't know if they're doing it again, again this year. But usually if it's um, my one aunt will open presents on Christmas Eve. Zach's family literally like wakes up at four in the morning or whenever and immediately opens presents. Um, but what, what my side usually does is we wake up, we have to have like breakfast and settle in and then we all open presents. It's so funny though. Cause I remember when I was a kid, if it, if we weren't able to travel to like my grandma's house or whatever, like if it was just my parents and me and my brother, we'd wake up still in your pajamas immediately go downstairs and open presents but if we were with like the whole family like all the cousins and aunts and uncles and stuff we had to come out we had to have breakfast we had to do all the things and i remember just like being a kid being so antsy like one minute open the presents <laughs> <laughs> yep so i think um but you know what i i'm almost um but we'll probably just have to wait until my parents get here because they'll drive in that morning and then we'll open presents but uh Sometimes I'm like, no, let's just do it. Let's just open the presents. But we have to right. wait for my parents, so. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's exciting. Well, I love that. I think that's very fun for you. I can't wait to see and hear yeah. and check I'm out more. I'm excited for Tempe's first happens. Christmas. I mean, you yeah. know, she's still very young. She won't 100% understand. Well, she won't. But, you know, it'll still be fun. <laughs> so I'm excited to have all those cute Times I was gonna say, watching she's gonna her just play with anyways. I know, <laughs> like watching her just play with wrappers instead of the actual yeah. gift will be <laughs> the highlight. Still, one of my daughter's favorite things to do, and she's seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the toy is uh, 
looked at for like three minutes and then the bubble wrap and the box and, the and everything boxes, is yep. yeah <laughs> the rest of the time <laughs> well i love that i love it i love it um so this christmas will be unlike any christmas i've ever had before um my Christmases for 31 years of my life have been very, everything is very large, very, I mean, amazing, but so yeah. much family, so much family. And as when I was growing up, it was like one house to the next house to the next right. house. We had a lot of uh, people to see. And this Christmas, I will be in Kentucky with Joel will be able to come home. Oh, um, good. But it's just, yeah, he, he got approved. He will be able to come home for a little oh, bit. Good. So I'm thankful for that. Um, but I'm actually still looking. I'm still trying my hardest to see if I can uh, get Kenzie to go to California. So if I am able to do that, I would love for her to go there, spend time with her dad, spend time with my family, be able to be included on all of that during her break, yeah. which means it would be just Joel and I. In our home, because <laughs> the boys, <laughs> the boys will be traveling as well, so they'll be in Florida. Okay. Um, so it would just be the two of us. Which, if that's what it is, that's quality time. That's amazing. Yeah. We'll make the best of it. But if I can't get her home, Kenzie will be here. So yeah, we shall see. But other than that, we don't have any big, grand plans. That sometimes it is what that's it is. that's so, good though. Like sometimes yeah. the low key can be the best like I was thinking um me and Zach were actually just talking about it uh, I think it was last year or the year before we were uh, supposed to be going somewhere for Thanksgiving and then like this was during COVID times we all got sick it wasn't mm -hmm. we it wasn't COVID but we were all sick and so we were trying to be cautious so instead of traveling for Thanksgiving we just stayed at home and um Zach ended up cooking instead of like Thanksgiving meals. He was like, well, what is everyone's favorite food? So he made himself hot dogs. He made me like one of my favorite Filipino soups that my mom usually makes me. Um, and he, you know, he, we were just doing like, oh yeah, you want mashed potatoes? Let's throw mashed potatoes in there. Like oh, the yeah. most random, like assortment of food. And it was yeah. just me, him and, and Evie. And it was, it was, and it was incredibly enjoyable because it was super low key and, you know, plans fell through. But like you said, make the best of it. And right. it was it was honestly, like you said, good quality time. Like that's going to be one I remember forever I because that. that was just like, you know, kind of di like definitely different from the norm. Right. But still like very good. You time. You time. Yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Um. All right, cool. And for everyone that's listening, we want to know what you guys are doing. So share that with yeah. us because uh, we would love to hear it. Um, but what I decided to do today, which we're not even going to get into yet, but I am going to tell you right now, is I created or I looked up and pulled and dragged and whatever um, <laughs> a little calendar, a 25 days of Christmas calendar for the mamas. Um, so I'm going to go through all of the days and what I'm hoping, what I think would be really awesome is just, I'll post the calendar to our social media. Um, so if you're listening, you better find us, but where we can all just kind of like do it and have like this community, this group yeah, of everyone kind of I doing the same that. thing. So I, I'll be reading the, the 25 days of Christmas Yay! in a minute, but before that, um, I was also looking into, uh, I, I have a couple Christmas movies and Christmas books on here. Um, so I thought if anyone wants to watch a movie or read a book, I'm going to read these to you guys right now, um, yeah. during the holidays. So first I will say I have three movies here that one of them I haven't even seen, but I will absolutely be watching this mm. holiday season because it looks really good, like when I was looking stuff up. So the first okay. one I will say is The Holiday. I feel like love a it. lot of people have already love. seen it. Love. Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's, you know, two women troubled with guy problems, swap homes in each other's countries, and they each meet a local guy and fall in love. And it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. 
it's one of those romantic comedies that are just there. It's amazing. It's amazing. And it has Kate Winslet, Cameron Diaz, Jude Law, Jack Black. Jude Law. Great, Woo. great cast right there. Yes. So if you guys haven't yet, check that out this holiday season. Um, cause it is, it is a good one. I and our, one. our holiday expert, Ashley <laughs> brought it up in the hollow thanks miss, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, episode as well, which means if it's Ashley approved, you definitely gotta watch it. <laughs> um, the one that I said I haven't seen, but when I was looking up movies, cause you know, I'm just looking up Christmas movie for moms, um, it's called A Mom for Christmas. Have you seen it? This came out no. when we were birthed. When we were I born. I feel like that sounds this like a Mary Kate Ashley movie type Isn't that funny? situation. Yeah. It's not. Um, <laughs> but 1990, it came out. The story revolves around an 11-year-old whose uh-huh. mother, she had passed away. And her father was a workaholic. Um, he had little time with his daughter, He didn't spend a lot of time with her because he was working so much. And, you know, that's hard for her. Her mother had passed away and she's mourning her. Um, Just before the Christmas holiday season, she wins a free wish from a wishing well. And her wish for a mother for Christmas is granted. And Olivia (sighs) Newton-John, hold on, sorry, became her mom. She was the department store mannequin at this store and she Uh becomes the mother. So it's called a mom for Christmas. So okay. I'm definitely going to check that out. I thought it sounded super cute and anything. That does sound I mean, super cute. rest in peace, Olivia Newton, John. I'm just like, it makes me want to watch it even more, you know? Yeah. Um, so let's, let's do it. Let's watch it. And if you guys have seen it already, let me know if it's worth it. <laughs> because it takes a lot for me to sit down and watch a movie. <laughs> um, and the last one I'm going to bring up, which is two. But it does not take a lot for me to sit down and watch these movies. Bad Moms. Yes. Bad Moms Christmas. Yes. I'm in love. I yes. will always watch that. And I'm obsessed. Yes. And the Christmas one is just so damn good. I mean, they're both I haven't so seen good. the Christmas one. I should watch Are that one this year. Me? I've seen, like, the original, like, a couple of times. Cause I, and it's so funny because I'm pretty sure I watched it before I actually had kids. And I still found it hilarious. I bet if I watched it now, I'd find it even more freaking relatable. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So anyone that doesn't know, this is when the, the the plot, when three overworked and underappreciated moms are pushed beyond their limits, they ditch their conventional responsibilities for a jolt of long overdue freedom, fun, and comedic self-indulgence. And it is, I am in love with it. And it's funny because it's titled Bad Moms, and it should just be straight up like real moms, like moms. Mom. Yeah, because- real moms. <laughs> They, they're they wonderful, and they do some stuff that, oh, my God, I want to hang out with them so bad. I feel so like that's good. exactly how it would be if, like, me, you, whoever, like, got together and yeah. just went and did stuff. So it's And it's I love awesome. Mila Kunis. She's, like, I love her. one of my faves. That was my girl faves. crush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, love, love, love her. So those are just three movies that I recommend checking out. I can't vouch for a mom for Christmas, but it looks really good, and I'm going to watch it. So I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I did have a question though about two movies. First is Die Hard a Christmas movie because I feel like <laughs> it's always a controversial topic. <laughs> so uh, that's is funny. Die Hard a Christmas movie? I feel like so. This is my take on that. <clears throat> I feel like the answer is yes. Not and not necessarily because there's it's during Christmas. But because when you watch, like, let's say you were to watch Die Hard, Die Hard, or Die Die Hard, Hard. (laughs) Die Hard, (laughs) Um, let's say you were to watch it in July, would it get you pumped for Christmas? Yes or no? Because I think it just has the vibe of, like, this is something that, like, like, for a lot of people, it's like, oh, it's this time of year? Let's watch some Die Hard. So not just because it has Christmas in it, but because it reminds people of tradition and, like, the good old times and, like, that kind of thing. That is why I consider it, like, a Christmas movie. Sounds funny. I love it. Yeah, I just, I was like, let me bring that up real quick. Yeah. Um, yippee ki motherfucker. Um, the other one, the other one that I had on here was just, 
home alone in general, like, oh yeah, could you <laughs> imagine like leaving your freaking kid? No, no, no. How in the world? I don't, I don't know. And just, I don't know why that movie is so funny to me for that thing, because I'm like, there's no way there's, there's no, no way. way. But no. there's probably a way, like people. Well, and then more than know. once, right? Like it happens. Yeah. How many Home Alones are there? There's like. <laughs> I've never seen another one. Just that original movie. I'm just like. Well, so yeah. I feel like so Everybody obviously seen? everyone has seen Home mm-hmm. Alone, and then I remember, um, like Home Alone, two is when he gets stranded, like in New York, I think, right? And, and that one is like, and so, I don't know, it's just crazy, because I think we had Home Alone 2 actually on VHS, so that one I actually watched more than Home Alone. That's so but, funny. But, um, I just, I've never yeah. seen that. <laughs> it's I good! Say, it's good! I would not. No, I, I mean, I can't imagine it happening once. If it happens twice, they're not, that's not for yeah. <laughs> They don't like him. They're leaving him on purpose. They're like, nah, he was fine the first time around. We definitely <laughs> just gonna leave him again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so I also have on here two books, and I'm actually going to purchase both both of these books because one uh-huh. of the things that I want to do is I want to disconnect as much as I can phone-wise, which is very hard with the podcast because I'm mm-hmm. on there so much mm-hmm. posting and stuff. But I want to do a lot of the unnecessary scrolling and the unnecessary yeah. Um, yeah. just other stuff that I do on my phone. I will not be neglecting you guys, <laughs> but the, the unnecessary stuff that I spend time on my phone, um, I do want to stop. So I'm going to buy these two books and I thought I would share them with you guys as well. So the first one, um, I think as I was reading a lot of books, this one just, you know, it's out of Kentucky. So I just, <laughs> whatever. Um, it's just a little romantic story. It's called wrapped up in Christmas. And I found it at Target for $7. Um, It says, Morgan's late husband was a daredevil. And now she's a widowed single mother. All she wants now is to set up a stable life for herself and her son in the small town of Pine Hill, Kentucky. Andrew is a firefighter who thrives Uh on the rush of saving lives. His secret dream is to become a a smoke jumper and fight raging wildfires across the country. Ooh. But it'll mean leaving his hometown and the people who rely on him. Morgan and Andrew, Andrew are drawn together as they both volunteer to make quilts for veterans at the local quilt shop. Morgan's son looks up to Andrew, and Morgan can't help but notice how good Andrew and Andrew is with him. Meanwhile, Andrew's torn between his ambition and his growing attraction to Morgan. They both Uh-oh. have choices to make about their future and about each other. So... I thought it looked good. I thought it sounded Wrapped good. Wrapped up. Like, hmm, hmm. We'll see. We'll see if that's good. But this one I thought sounded super good. Super, super good. So I'm definitely going to get this one. And it was a bestseller. Um, <laughs> a bestseller by Elizabeth Bromke. Um, this is called The House That Christmas Made. And I found this one on Amazon for $9.99. And they have them used, so you could get it for like three bucks or something. But it's an enchanting women's fiction, complete with holiday cheer, Christmas romance, and a snowy mystery. From Ooh. USA Today's bestseller, Elizabeth Bromke, comes the final in a four part small town saga. But this is the Christmas part. Now, listen to this. Every single one of the women on Apple Hill Lane has been withholding an icy secret. And it's not what you think. Jude Banks has held it all together, battling the winter blues through her divorce, her lonesomeness, her past, until now when she finds her Christmas spirit amidst the hardship in life. Gwen Whittle never told her daughter the truth, but that didn't stop Vivi from digging around or looking for another place to spend December 25th. Beverly Castle is about to face the holidays for the first time since a heartbreaking tragedy. Will she manage to embrace the joy of Christmas despite it all? And Annette Best knows something, and she's desperate to tell all. But the women's holiday plans keep getting in the way of the truth. Mm. So I was just like, huh. Mm. Huh. <laughs> kind of digging it. 
kind of do. Yeah. yeah. So if if any of you guys want to read something over the holidays, there are two that I found that I, you know, I'm going to check out. So nice. feel free to join me in some reading. Do you this have is like now a the book Wine that you Time read? Book Club? Book Club. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's see if I can even make it through a book. <laughs> We're all busy, you know, but I'm going to I'm going to do my best. Do you nice. have like a like a holiday book that you read? Like it makes me think of our old teacher Miss Shabajan, how she would always read oh, The Withering Heights every yeah, single like holiday season. My Miss Shabay Bye bye. I need to find um, her. I should try to find her somewhere. Is she on Facebook or something? Not that I have she one. Is. I, have I talk one, to her but still. I literally never got it. Um I tend to read Harry Potter <laughs> during Christmas, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I don't have like a book uh, during the holidays, but there's definitely movies we watch like during the holiday. We usually watch some kind of Harry Potter. We yeah. also tend to um, like, we will watch all of the Christmas episodes of like The Office. Mm-hmm. Um, that's always fun. <laughs> and then, um, cause Benny Hanna Christmas is probably like one of my favorite episodes of all time of any show of ever. Bring it. Um, and then, um, I actually, so when you were talking about movies, there is, we generally watch love actually around this yeah, time of year that's a good one. because that one is, you know, great. But there's another movie. It's so funny. Cause I was just talking about this movie with Diane um, it's called The Happiest Season. It actually came out, I think it was like last year or, or mm-hmm. year before, but it's Kristen Stewart. And it is the most convincing role I've ever, ever, ever seen her in. I I, I cannot say, like, I've never been a Kristen Stewart fan, but I actually really like this movie. It's very, hmm. very good. And it has Dan Levy in it, so you got to love it. Um but I've actually, it's so funny that you talked about, like, I need to find something to stop the unnecessary scrolling. Mm-hmm. I started knitting. Or did you? Is it crochet? Knitting. <laughs> yeah, like knitting. Wow. I don't know. Like, one day, and it started, it actually started when I was pregnant. Um, and I was like, I want something to do. Like, you know, like, I need, I need something to do. So I was like, okay. And I found on Amazon, like, this starter knitter kit. Mm-hmm. Where you can for um like they give you the the threads and then whatever and then they give you like how to knit a scarf, so right. beginning knitter and all that stuff and then I literally got like two inches of the scarf done and then I had a baby and I was like I'm not doing this but I recently <laughs> picked it back up and I, yeah. and I think it's it's just like it's helpful to have while I'm like while the TV's on or like something so that I'm not like you said just unnecessarily right. scrolling through my phone maybe I'll have a scarf done by Christmas but it that knitting is takes a long time yeah like, I don't know how people do like a bunch a bunch of things cuz it's I've never crazy tried, but, but it is it is nice because it's like the same motion over and over it's like kind of therapeutic it keeps your mm-hmm. hands busy um but without like you said the unnecessary like let me just pick up my phone Right. So it's nice. It's nice. I like that. I like that. I find myself, when I say the unnecessary scrolling, I could go on there for a legit reason, right? Whether it's right. stuff to look up for the podcast or if it's right. whatever it may be. And I, so I need to be better with my time where I, okay, I'm going to spend this hour on research or I'm going to do this or whatever. Because I'll be like, oh, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. Right. And it's all pointless. I don't right. get anywhere with it. Nope. And then an hour yeah. later, I'm like, what did I just do with an hour? Nothing? Okay. So that's why yeah. I'm like, I need to do something Same. different. And I will. Okay. But here, let me get into the actual uh Yeah. For okay. I'm episode. excited for this. Yes. And like I said, so I'm going to share this little calendar. Maybe you'll love it. Maybe you're like, eh, get over yourself. But... I just thought I want to do this and why not share with you guys? And if you guys want to partake in any of it, do it as well. Um, all right. So I have a December calendar. Okay. Uh, December starts on Thursday, the first, the first of December is on a Thursday and I'm going to go all the way through Christmas day. So it's 25 days of, of Christmas or December or holiday spirit, whatever you want to say. Um, and then I'm just going to say each each date, what I have on there, and then when you see it, it'll make more sense. Kind of hard, but listen along. Okay. So the first day of December 
I have on there, make your holiday shopping list. Okay. I feel like if some people are such good planners, some people are done shopping already. Some people are not. I haven't I started. I am not. But I think, <laughs> I feel like lists are so necessary and sometimes they take a long time because you're like, who do I need to add? Who do I, you right. know? And I think if you just take some time, December 1st, sit down, make your holiday shopping list. And don't forget, I feel, so I know for myself, I have my secret angels that I have to, or not secret, but my angel babies that I have to shop for um, through work. I have my secret Santa through work. I have my my family Santa, you know, there's so much. Right. And you just, you got to have a very good detailed list or you're going to be the the 23rd like shit yep <laughs> i forgot for sure Kevin. no i'm just kidding <laughs> for um, sure so thursday the 1st make your list friday you know we need to sprinkle in as much self care as much love for ourselves as possible so what i put on there for friday the 2nd is treat yourself to like a special spa night okay yeah meaning i mean if you can go Treat yourself outside of your home. Make it happen. If you cannot, what I will be doing is getting a face mask, maybe one of those nice foot mask things. Um, a peppermint the foot mask yes. for the holiday season. Absolutely. <laughs> um, and just, I think even just spending more time in the shower so I'm yep. alone and mm -hmm. saying, hey, you know, I will not be bothered. You will not bother me. Yeah. Um, you know, lather, rinse, repeat, baby. But just <laughs> a little you time to, to nice. begin this December season because it is about to get crazy. I like it. On the 3rd of December, what I have is declutter your space. Mm -hmm. And it's going to feel good after, I promise. But even if it's just one room, if it's your daughter's room, if it's your room, if it's the guest room that you do all of your, you know, wrapping and stuff like that mm -hmm. declutter so that you can reclutter <laughs> yeah but base, exactly that's what i was spot. thinking yeah mm -hmm. get a spot you that's need gonna to be like your make spot. room because this yes. time of year just like shit piles of on Does. top on top on top so like decluttering is so 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 important that's such a good one and very good to do like near the beginning Absolutely. of the freaking yeah. month <laughs> for sure um Num uh, number four, the fourth date, I have a holiday craft. And this, listen, most of this is catered towards the mother. Most of this yeah. is not catered towards your child. Some of it you can absolutely include your kid. And all of it you can. But this yeah. one I'm saying, like, holiday craft, there, there has to be something that you're always like, I love the look of this or I want this or whatever. I know I have seen so many centerpieces online yeah. that I'm just like, oh, my God, it's so pretty. And it's super easy if you get the vases or whatever and put something together. Those little mm -hmm. uh, ornaments that go inside of them. You know, something yeah. just like pretty that you're like, I've been wanting to do that. If it's a wreath, if it's a candle, whatever it is, holiday craft. Make yeah. it happen. I feel like it'll just put a little smile and get you really, really cheery. Um, the fifth day, mail someone special a holiday letter. Oh. I think that that will be nice for you to reach out to someone and yeah. just like to think about how that'll make someone feel as they receive something, getting them into the holiday spirit. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Do it. I highly recommend that one. I like that. Yeah. That was a uh, easy to come up with. Cause we have a mail it Monday in our house where we mail our letters out. Number six, day six. Um, super simple, super easy. Enjoy a warm, toasty holiday beverage, whether that's while you're out and about, if that's at your house, whether it's a tea, a cider, a hot cocoa, a holiday coffee, a warm eggnog, a warm <laughs> eggnog. Ew. It's funny that I say a warm, toasty beverage. I don't drink hot stuff, so mine will be iced, but you know, I know a lot of people <laughs> like to get comfy, cozy with their drink. Um, that one's simple. That's so easy. Um, make Sorry, number seven, day seven, make a list of 10 things that you're grateful for this holiday season yes. and keep it nearby because you, mm -hmm. like we said at the beginning of this podcast, 
it's stressful. It gets stressful. And you need to just kind of have something that's just going to bring you back. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm doing it for. This is why, why this is happening. I'm grateful for these things. Bring me back. Because a lot of the time, yes. the things you're grateful for are the things driving you nuts. <laughs> right. But you'll get through it. <laughs> you'll get through it. <laughs> um, so that will be happening. Number eight, and this is why I was saying this earlier, read something uh, holiday related, whether it's a book, um, if, if it's a magazine. Maybe you have magazines that come to your house, a Christmas cookbook, like recipes. Mm, read something I like that, that mm-hmm. is going to be getting you more into the spirit. That's what all of this is about. Number nine, do something nice for someone today. That's a Friday, so I thought, you know, maybe someone get paid. But whether it's buying someone a coffee while you're out and about, if, if you can't do that, which, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we may not be able to do that, Hold the door open for someone. Give someone a hug. Just do something that is, like, intentional and you find Mm -hmm. yourself focused on the deed, focused on the acts that you are doing that is going to either put a smile on someone else's face or make them feel good because Mm -hmm. we need that. And it feels good to do for others. Yes. And it helps them to feel good. So, do that. And it doesn't have to be money. There's so many right. things that you can do non-money related. Um, Saturday the 10th, attend a holiday event. I feel like if you look something up, there's always things to go yeah. to. There yeah. are always things you can go to. And if there is not one, if you cannot find one, if you cannot fit it into your schedule, this is one of those nights. Go look at Christmas lights. Yeah. Get out. Go do it. It's beautiful. I have never gone home after Christmas lights in a bad mood. <laughs> right. 100%. It is just such a good feeling. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Sunday the 11th, donate. Um, donate yours or your children's old winter clothes. This is the mm-hmm. perfect time to do it. People mm-hmm. are in need. Um, mm-hmm. And if you don't have stuff clothes-wise you can donate, look in your pantry. There's always canned goods or something that you can have, old pastas you never use, whatever, um, to to give. There's so many food drives. There's so many things going on for the holiday season. Yeah, definitely. And people are in need. So go out on Sunday, donate something to help people that are in need. Um, I've already got my stack of stuff that is getting out of my closet. I am so done holding on to these things that I say I'm going to fit into because your girl ain't going <laughs> to fit into it. <laughs> It's going, it's going away. And if I ever do fit back into it, I'm buying new stuff. But I am not going right. to have 37 black and yellow totes from Costco sitting downstairs anymore. <laughs> um, it is crazy. Number 12, day 12, um, Christmas prep. So Christmas prep, start wrapping your gifts or writing mm-hmm. out your cards. Start mm-hmm. getting stuff taken care of in that decluttered room that you decluttered the other day. Nice, nice. Get Tied that together. stuff taken care of. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, Tuesday the 13th. This one is important. I want everyone to do this, even if you're not going to do the rest of this. Celebrate Christmas pra- past. Look at old pictures. Reminisce on those past years. For yourself, for your kids, even if you're yeah. showing kids pictures of you when you were younger and they doing love Christmas. That. They do. It feels good. And then it kind of gets you like, oh, my gosh, I remember how I felt that day. I remember how I felt in that moment. Um, It's amazing. It feels good. And it gets them thinking about, you know, what you went through and the things that you did. And, oh, that's cool that you did that when you were younger. We're doing that now and putting that into, into relation. So. It's, mm-hmm. it's a cute one. I like that one. Um, on Wednesday the 14th, write a letter to Santa. Yes. Yeah. You can write one too. So if your <laughs> kids are going to do it, but you can write it too. What do you want? What do you, you know, look forward to? What are, I mean, you can even say what you're thankful for in that letter too, but write mm-hmm. a letter to Santa Claus and you can mail it. You can, ma- I have a, I have a mailbox, a uh, North Pole mailbox at my house, by the way. It's so cute. Nice. I just saw Benny move into the background. I'm like, what's that in the background? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, Thursday the 15th, go on a walk. 
which is hilarious because it's probably going to be cold um, outdoors if the weather permits, of course. Just get outside. It feels yeah. good. Whether it's your lunch break at work, go on a walk. If it's in the afternoon with your family, with your dogs, whatever, go on a walk. Get outside. Enjoy it because there is something about, even when it's cold, like breathing in that Fresh brisk, air. cold air yeah. that just, mm-hmm. it feels good. I'm not mm-hmm. saying freeze your ass off, my friends, because no one wants to do that. So if it is like below freezing, do not do it. <laughs> <laughs> but go on a walk. I want to live outdoors all day, every day. So, yes. Um, Friday the 16th creates a new family tradition. Or yeah. personal tradition if you don't have a family. But create something that is new that you are like, maybe you've seen other people do it. Maybe this is the year that you're like, you know what? I'm going to make that happen. Yeah. Maybe you just like come up with something one. on the spot. Create a new family tradition. Me too. And I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. But I'm thinking about It'll it. It'll happen. You guys, It'll come. During the, during the Hollow Thanksmas one, you were talking about the, the jammies. And I had said I've never done that. So who knows yeah. if that's something we'll yeah. start doing. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yet. I feel like we'll it see. could be something like so, so, so simple. Like. We're going to make hot chocolate, like a fancy hot chocolate recipe, and then we're going to sit outside and play a game of, like a card game. Like something yeah. so simple, like that yeah. just like, this is what we do. Oh, it's a hot chocolate day. Like, let's do it. It could be so simple. Yeah. And in that. five That's years just... from now, when you celebrate Christmas past, you're going to be looking at that new family tradition. You'd exactly. be like, you know what my family does every time? We get our Christmas socks on. We go com- comfy, cozy outside and we play a card game. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's cute. Love it. Yeah. Um, which the next one has to do with jammies. Saturday the seventeenth, get your jammies on, hot cocoa, and put on a holiday yeah. movie. Get cozy, comfy, cuddled up next to your loved ones, put on a movie and enjoy that. Um, there's no bedtime on the seventeenth, so <laughs> stay up and watch a movie. December eighteenth, bake a holiday treat. Make something yummy. Yeah. Um, I just, for the first time in my life, baked a pie. I made a pecan, 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 however you say it, nice. pie. Um, we, my younger brother had texted in our family group chat the other day and said, here's what's going on today, family group chat. I want you guys all to do something you have never done before. Ready, set, go. Nice. Check back in later. Yeah, it was really cool. So go me and Kenzie were talking and we were like, We've never made a pie. And we were we were talking about trying one sooner or later. Yeah. So we went, we got all the stuff, and we made a pie, and nice. it wasn't good. So we better try again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it turned out that good. <laughs> better luck next time. <laughs> At least you tried it, though, right? Like, that's the she point. had a good time. And it was funny, because yeah. afterwards, it was like, let it set for, like, hours in your fridge. And Kenzie's like, what's that nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Bake a holiday treat, and it, you know you can also do whether it's like the rice krispies or like rice, the the pretzels, exactly what like I was the thinking. chocolate on or the the, the strawberries, whatever yeah. it is, little holiday treat. Um, Monday the nineteenth, and so as you guys can see, hopefully as you're seeing this, I put the more kind of like extensive stuff on the weekends and the easier, <laughs> not so long things on the weekdays because right. I know I'm busy and I don't have all the time in the world to be doing this stuff. Um, but hopefully this is just something you could look at and be like, oh, I have time this day. I want to do this. Um, Monday the 19th, call up a friend or family member and spread some holiday cheer. Someone yeah. that you have been wanting to call, wanting to talk with, and just dedicate some time to check in, say hello, see what they're doing for the holidays. You know, it's so accessible nowadays to just see everything online. And mm-hmm. see what someone's doing and see their pictures or see their posts, their updates. But it feels good to to hear them say it and to just mm-hmm. kind of go a little bit further than a cute picture. Oh, what a cute yeah. kid. You know, like a um, heart. <laughs> yeah. Go out of your way that day to call up a friend or a family member and, you know, do that. On Tuesday the 20th, it's craft time. You can come up with any kind of craft. There's so many things. So if you don't want to go buy stuff, some some easy stuff, you could do the paper snowflakes. You can make paper change. Um, 
You can do gingerbread houses. If you want to go buy those little kits that have the little candies you put on the gingerbread Mm -hmm. houses or gingerbread cookies, whatever it is, something craft time that you are actively participating in as well. And your kiddos can be there as well. Um, I have to say there was one. So really quick. So, um, Target has this little box that, I mean, it was so, I was like, oh, this is perfect because it's cheap. And it's, um, it's got like 20 little, like mini wreaths in it. Mm -hmm. And you can decorate the wreaths with like, they have like snowflake stickers and like little pom poms and stuff like that stick. And if you want, like it can just be a wreath or you can turn it into like a, like a picture frame like they have a thing you can stick on the back and it it can be a picture frame and they're perfect for like putting on the tree and so we were at the store and evie saw it and she goes i want that i was like okay cool yeah let's do that and it's like the perfect and you know even she's three and she was able to like get it and put it in and she had so much fun that kit and it killed so much time like i was looking for something that day i'm like i gotta keep her busy like and it's like perfect little craft so those little things like just a little like felt wreath with like here's right. some stickers it's it's yeah. it was great it was perfect and then and now we'll have something to put up on our tree yes i love those i love those i'm such a traditional like um decorator i don't have the one that's like oh my my theme this year is red and gold and you know my stuff is all of the the old uh-huh. i have my same. my first christmas ornament i, I have, have like the baby or- yep so same i i love that um, and I'm excited this year. I was already telling Kenzie that when we get the boys this week, I would like to go. We're going to go to a store and we're all going to pick out an ornament. And even though they're not going to yeah. be here for Christmas, they can come Still. the week before. And mm-hmm. I want it up there. So yep. we're going to start that as well, which makes my heart 100%. happy. 100%. I love happy. it. Um, do a craft. Yeah, girl. Okay. Uh, Wednesday the 21st, Manny Petty time. Go get you. your nails done or do them yourself. It's. I, you know, I got some old man hands. <laughs> I got some old man hands. And if my nails are not done, I swear, I could post my a picture of my hand on the internet. And I, I could be like, how old do you think I am? What gender do you I, No, I don't know. But you know what I mean? And someone would be like, that person's definitely 65 years old. Um... <laughs> So without my nails done, which they're not done right now, but they just, they're not cute. They're not cute. And I want to be cute for the holidays. So yeah, Manny Penny time. Perfect. If you can go get them done, go get them done. If not, do them yourself at home. My daughter did my toes the other day and they still look cute. Like nice. she, she painted them. It's like this sparkly green. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Nice. Um, thankful. She has a steadier hand than I do. That was for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, do yo nails. Um, Thursday, Christmas prep part two. Finish wrapping up everything you can. If you've mm-hmm. got more stuff you need to wrap, wrap it up. Um, if you have more cards that you need to either send out or get done before you go visit with your family, y- your own family you're going to be with, get those cards done, all of that For kind sure. of stuff. Um, Friday the 23rd, Christmas Carol. Or listen to Christmas music. Yeah. I'm going Christmas caroling this year. You are? That's yeah, so cool. I don't, I don't want to sing ever in front of people, but I'm going to do it. Um, my neighbor, when we moved here, it was really funny because my mom was visiting the first time she visited. And one of the neighbors down the street was like, yeah, I'm the one who, like, I'm like neighborhood watch and I do the Christmas caroling every year. So she's told us it's coming up. It's coming up. So we That's are going to so Christmas cool. carol. I love that. I have never been Christmas caroling or have had I. Christmas caroling carolers come to my house. Yeah. But that would be so freaking awesome. That's so exciting. She said, even if someone doesn't answer, if they have the doorbell, like, you know how they always do the recordings? They sing to the door. No. I'm like, okay, whatever. That's probably makes so many people's day, though. Like, 
Like, yeah. imagine how fun. Like, you get the notification, and then you have the video, and you're watching it, and you get to watch the Christmas carolers. Like, I love that. That's so cool. And I guess there's, like, a good amount of people that join in, so I said, why not? Let's do it. This is going to be something awesome. I've never done before. Um, and if you don't want to do that, if you don't like that, put on some Christmas music. Put it on. Just, it's, it's like the final countdown, you know, where yes. you finally just got to be like, oh my god, almost here. Um... On the 24th, uh, bake cookies or put a treat yeah. out for Santa. Um, it's that time where you got to get that ready for your kiddos and for Santa to uh, enjoy a little tasty treat on his stop at your house. Um, and then, last but not least, we have made it through December. And hopefully you're staying still and not too overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> on the 25th. I put on here, hug your people so long yes. and so tight and tell them something that you love about them. Um, this one, again, just make it very intentional. I feel like even if you need to write it down or, like, prepare yourself, like, this is what I want this person to know from my heart today. Yeah. Hug them, squeeze them, and say, you know, I'm so thankful that you're here, how much you value them, whatever it may be, but just I love it. make mm-hmm. it – meaningful in that moment um and that's that's gonna be so that is gonna be my 25 days of christmas i am gonna do this this is my my totally gonna do it calendar my list and i am going to make sure i show it off to anyone who wants to to be a so if i am having my warm toasty beverage i'm gonna post it if I'm yes. doing craft time, I'm going to let you know. And I'm hoping that some of you guys will join me on that one. I'm it's 100% going to join you. I love it nice. because it's it's not – it's about – I mean, I think we talk about it a lot as moms. Like, finding little moments in your day to do something, like you said, intentional. Because a lot of the times we're just trying to make it through the freaking day. Right. Right? So, but if you carve out that – 10 minutes that 30 minutes to do just something from like you said like it's intentional it's like I want to do this today I'm gonna do it for me for my kids and not only that but like I like how a lot of those things are doing things for other people or listing things and thinking about what you're personally grateful for because that really does help to put you in a better a better headspace um, this time of year. So it's to, to get out of the hustle and bustle and to think about things in a, in, from a different perspective. I feel like that's so good. That's so important this time, any time of year, but especially this time of year. And I'm, I'm so excited to do this every day because I think it's, it's such a good idea to do. I like it. I think it'll be good. And I feel like the more people that kind of get involved, you know, yeah. maybe you, you'll want to see what everyone's doing and it might strike something that you want to try or you yeah. want to do as well. Um, but yeah, like how you said it, I really, because this started with myself and I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. I might as well tell everyone. But I wanted to be more intentional, to be more yeah. meaningful, to be more, I feel like I have a obligation in a sense because I'm here. Mm-hmm. I don't get to love everyone the way that I'm used to. And mm-hmm. so I have to find another way to do that. Um, and maybe you're in the same boat and maybe this will help you in that sense. But at the same time, when I first started doing this, I was trying to do more of like a 20 minutes a day self-care for moms yes. through the holidays. And so uh-huh. I wanted to sprinkle that in as well. Um, and hopefully, I mean, none of this is to be overwhelming or to, to make you right. think, like, oh, you want me to add all this shit onto everything yeah. I already have to do? <laughs> if that's how you feel right now, don't don't even start. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. Or start the first couple days and maybe you'll see, oh, that's not that bad. That's easy. Or, like, um, join in whenever you feel. But like you said, I mean, I think it's so important. Like, this can all be seen as self-care because they're, like, doing something intentionally – that is going to like that is self-care like it doesn't and it doesn't always have to be a mani-pedi it doesn't always have to be like I'm gonna go do a facial like self-care really should be like the small wins that get you to a place where you're just feeling better about being you and so like yeah like sometimes that's 
I want to clean out this closet. And I'm yeah. going to do it. I'm I'm going to set aside some time today. And when I'm finished, I'm going to feel accomplished. I'm going to feel better about the closet. <laughs> I'm going to feel better about myself. And I think that that is so important to see self-care as that. Because, like, you know, it's it, – and, and on top of that, I think a big part of self-care is – is doing things for other people in your life that you love because it's important to to spread that and you know it's obviously going to make their day better but it really does make your own day better as well that's and that's good. you know that's the point that's right. I love this I'm so excited for this this is so such a good idea and and I'm I'm very excited to 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 do this for me for my family it's going to be good I'm excited, and you'll see I made a cute little calendar um, that I'm going to post as well, nice. which is exciting. Nice. It's exciting. Um, dang, when you were saying all of that just now, I thought about something. Oh, I was going to say, <laughs> this is great. So, for those of you guys that are, you know, in a relationship, you have your husband, your partner, you, your family, if someone's there... This can also be a good time where you kind of speak up and say, you know, tonight mm -hmm. or it's December, we're doing this 20 minute thing every single mm -hmm. day, whatever it may be. And you can either, so this is, this is how I would do it if, if, if I had a, here's my fake husband right here. Uh, here's Joel being home. I would, <laughs> this is how I would approach it. Like for real, I would say, you know what? I want to take the time to do this. This is what I am doing today. So if that means that you are going to do the dishes today for the 20 minutes so that I have the time to do right. this, then you can do the dishes. If you would like to be a part of it, because I would love for you to sit down and be a part right. of it with me, we can do the dishes later or I can do yeah. the, whatever it is. But something along those lines where it's, you know, if, if I'm going to be doing this and you're not, please help me in this area because... It's a team, right? And, and we're gonna make it work. And if not, I I'll get to it later. But this is happening. This is yes. happening for me, for myself. If it's one of the things that the kids are involved for them as well. If that yep. the day that you're gonna go do your little spa day and your shower, if you're going out, guess what? I need you to do this for me today, or do this for our house, or whatever it may be, um, because I am doing this. I am yes. taking this moment for myself. One hundred percent. Um. So speak up, speak up, ladies. <laughs> Um, and hopefully it all works out and is amazing and the best ever. Um, I need to go on and order those books immediately because I am going to be yes. reading those books. I'm going to start with that, the second one I had talked about that had the four. That sounds good. It, women. it sounds like good. desperate housewife vibes. <laughs> was like, Ooh, I was like, what is happening? Wait, is it all combined? Like, is yeah. it something they all know or is it all yeah. like separate and it's going to come together? And oh my God. Um, so I'm excited about that one. And I got to go watch Bad Moms. And the fact that you haven't watched Bad Moms Christmas, please I get know. on okay, that. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> and then report back. Because <laughs> it is great. It is great. And I love how I said this is going to be a really short episode. And we talk a lot. <laughs> we love to talk. Here That's we why we have a podcast. <laughs> I know. I know. It's true. True that, my dude. Um, But, yes. Happy holidays, you guys. December is in a couple days. And... It's crunch time, so let's make it happen, and good luck to you all. I mean, we'll still be talking to you every week, so look forward to that, but, oh, and just know you guys can listen to the podcast while you guys are doing your time and, like, doing your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Take us Working with you. into your self-care. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, we are your therapy. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but, yeah, enjoy that. Happy holiday season. Hopefully your guys' Thanksgivings were absolutely amazing, wonderful, superb. All of it was great. And there's no horror stories. If there are horror stories, please send please them in. Us. We would love to. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and email them out. in to winetimemoms at gmail.com. Please and thank you. Yes. <laughs> Tell everyone about your story. Post your uh, horror picture on uh, Instagram <laughs> and tag us in it at wine underscore time underscore pod. <laughs> These are just little humble plugs. That's okay. We've got this. Um, but yeah, until next week, happy winter season, holiday season, and we love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you. Bye. Okay, I love you. Bye.